Huh? We already caught up to the others? We haven't even been going that fast. We have a lot of wounded, and the cold doesn't help. It's no wonder they're moving slowly. Claude! We just received a transmission! All units that fought in the Battle of Zeekfall were counterattacked by the Empire. It sounds like everyone except us was completely routed. <laughs> Our entire battalion routed? Is it safe to take this path? Aren't the Imperials just going to chase us down? I don't know. All I can say for sure is that we've been put on the defensive. You can't be serious. One loss was enough for them to take it all back? <sighs> October 1935 EC. The insidious chill of winter arrived far earlier than usual in the north. Caught between the cold and vicious counterattack from the Empire, Operation Northern Cross fell apart. The Edinburgh army was routed. The soldiers who survived were forced to scatter as they fled, freezing, hungry, and bitter. And the once hopeful Federation had been driven into a cold, dark corner. How far are we walking anyway? We haven't had a break since morning. I don't know how much more I can take. Hmm. This is strange. Aren't they going the wrong way? I thought we were heading back to Einhemd. That's south, right? But the troops are heading west. From here on, we'll avoid all cities, towns, and villages. We're also bypassing all major roads. Einhemt has already been reclaimed by the Empire. Our goal is 150 kilometers west of here. 150 kilometers west? But that's on the Empire's coast, isn't it? This is a direct order from General Edmonds at HQ. Once there, we'll be given new orders. That's all we can tell you. All radio communication is now prohibited, with HQ or even other squads. If we're heading west, that means going over the mountains. The snow has to be piling up. I don't know if we can make it with our current equipment. They tell me this operation is critical if we want to regain our footing in the war. With the rest of the army routed, you're the only ones left who can still mobilize. Command knows these conditions aren't ideal, but they're counting on you. Commander. Understood. Godspeed. Hey, look. Einhem's clock tower isn't farther away. Man, wish I'd save some of that jerky. Wait. What's that over there? Oh. Just a scarecrow, huh? No. That's... <laughs> Riley, don't look! Uh, uh, that's... That's the old man from the parts shop! They made an example out of him. Nobody's going to risk supplying the Federation now. Right. They'll kill whoever they want just to make a point. Same shit they've always pulled. They want to make examples out of people? Fine. I'm gonna do the same damn thing to them. Raz! War makes you forget the value of life. That's true for us and them. Don't give in to hate. But don't turn your eyes away from this either. This is why we're fighting the Empire. We're gonna make sure tragedies like this can't happen again. I won't. I'll never forget this. Lieutenant.
Lieutenant Colonel Vault, sir. Reporting in. Hmm. The scouts just got back from Einhaft. There's no sign of any Federation soldier stopping by since the Battle of Zeekvall. Really? I figured they'd be aching for some new supplies by now. Well, we have been pursuing them. Maybe they went straight past the city. To keep their momentum, sir. Or maybe they crossed the mountains to the west. In their tanks, sir? That would just slow them down, wouldn't it? They could always abandon them if they're in a hurry. If their drivers are good, it's not impossible. Then should we head to the mountains? But HQ's orders are to march south. <laughs> You're still listening to them. We're Ausbruch, my friend. They know they can't tame us. But we can't keep disobeying all our orders. They'll look the other way. They need me too much. <laughs> Besides, a man's no good if he lets a lover give him the slip. So, let's pick up the chase. We're moving out. Yes, sir! Won't be long now, so late. The Battle of Ziegfall wasn't that long ago, but our victory feels so distant now. We've been marching along this mountain road without any semblance of cold weather equipment. It's cold, treacherous, and exhausting. Our formation's been broken for a while. We had a couple soldiers collapse. They're only walking now with support from their friends. Everyone can feel it in the air. Sooner or later, we're gonna start losing people. All we can do is keep moving forward. Anything to fend off frostbite. To stay alive. No one speaks. The silence is deafening. Riley, are you okay? Sorry, guess I tripped on the snow. Riley, she's exhausted. It's starting to get to her. I've got to take her mind off it somehow. Oh yeah, Miles, isn't your hometown in the mountains? Yeah, we only got snow every now and then. But I'm used to mountain roads like this. Hometown. Huh. I've never been to your region myself, so I don't know much about Hoffen. But we rely on the Hoffen as a tank, right? So, the name Hoffen kind of feels like home to me too at this point. <laughs> Say that again after you've been there. It's a boring, cramped armpit in the middle of nowhere. Everything closes at 10 goddamn p.m. And the women? Oh man, they go right for the throat. Funny, I remember people singing songs about how beautiful and gentle Hoffen women are. <laughs> I tell ya. Uh, yeah, Hoffen women. Got it. You know, I've been thinking I want to rebuild the Miller Company in Hoffen someday. The factory up and running, with a mansion next door. That was the dream for a blue-collar family like- Alright, and you can be factory manager, Clyde. Huh? Hey, hold on. What? Too good to work in my factory? Is that it? No, that, that's not what I meant. I, I'm, I'm just not very good with machines. Don't worry, you can leave the mechanical side to me. 
I'll be the badass foreman, obviously. And if any jokers get out of line, I'll whip them back into shape. I'll bake. There's an oven there for the rat knight, after all. <laughs> Sounds good. I'd be glad to have you all. All right. Now I got a job lined up after I leave the army. No one goes hungry at the Miller Company. <sighs> I hope I get to visit Hoffman soon. It won't be too much longer. Once the war's over and things are back to normal. <clears throat> We're under attack! Damn it! They're still following us? I can't get in touch with any squads ahead or behind us. Everyone's engaged with the enemy. We're cut off! Everyone, just calm down. They want us to panic. Squad E, prepare to intercept. We'll find a way through. <laughs> <laughs>